everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you are new hi I'm Taylor today I'm going to share all of my favorite chrome extensions for students this isn't a massive list because I did not want to put in chrome extensions that I don't use just for the sake of making up a video I just wanted to share with you my chrome extensions that I actually use as a student and that I actually find helpful and if you have any chrome extensions that you swear by as a student make sure you leave me a comment and let me know I would love to find some new ones as well so let's get into the video I'm gonna start screen sharing okay so the first Chrome extension that I want to recommend is called Toby or you can also use another one called session buddy they do kind of the same thing but what it does is when you open a new tab Toby will come up and so what you do is you can save sessions I actually saved one not that long ago um, when I was doing a big online shop because I wanted to close Chrome but I didn't want to lose all my tabs so I saved a session but if you go back I use this for when I am doing assignments so as you can see here for one of my science subjects I had heaps of tabs open wanted to obviously shut down my computer or something and didn't want to lose all those tabs so you just press Toby and then you just press save session you can name the session and you can keep going back to it or adding into it later and then so say you are doing that science assignment you just go here and press open 17 tabs and they all pop up and you're back in that old session it's just a really good way of organizing all those Chrome tabs I know that when you are doing an assignment sometimes you can have an overwhelmingly large amount of tabs open of research or whatever for an assignment. So Toby really helps just keep that all in one place. Another one, as I mentioned just before, is called Session Buddy. So I actually don't know what the difference is. I had both of them and then I just deleted Session Buddy, but I think it is kind of ugly. So when I don't need to have it open, I have my other one on, which is called Legom. Kind of irrelevant to this whole student thing, but I thought I'd just explain that. So I normally turn that one off on holidays or whatever and have Legom on instead which is a minimal browser page as you can see here which changes every day and I absolutely love it the next one that I have is for Google Scholar so when you press the plus tab and you search in this one that one is searching through Google but if you are doing an assignment you just want to get straight to the good stuff you want to search Google Scholar I have this little Google Scholar button here and I can just press it and search straight into that that's just my kind of shortcut to Google Scholar and then if I want to Google anything else that's not related to uni I can just use the normal tab the next one is is my absolute lifesaver I love this so much and it is picture in picture I have a note-taking video coming out where I actually show you how I use this to take my notes for lectures so if you have a lecture video open for example you can press the picture in picture extension which is this one up here I can have the lecture playing in the corner and then I can take my notes on another page I use it a lot for YouTube videos at the moment so I can have a YouTube video playing in the corner and then I can go and do other stuff on my laptop the next one that I use is Grammarly and if you watched my apps for students video you would have seen that I talked about Grammarly and I just wanted to add in here the extension for Grammarly which I did kind of mention in that video but this extension is super helpful so when you are typing an email for example down the bottom here you will see this little circle which is currently telling me that there's stuff going wrong so that is Grammarly in the corner there I can open Grammarly and then it's telling me oh I've spelt name wrong so I can just click this and it'll fix it for me. It also sometimes gives you suggestions on a better way to say a sentence. And sometimes it also comes up saying this piece of writing is sounding very casual or very professional or very academic. If you're writing to someone who you should be writing to in a professional kind of way and it says this writing is very casual, then you can kind of be like, oh, I need to fix that a little bit and make it sound a bit more formal. So that is Grammarly, absolutely love it and it comes up in most of the tabs when you're writing into canvas boxes and emails and canvas and all of that stuff. So I really like it because it appears everywhere throughout Chrome. The next one is Zotero. Of course, I will never stop talking about Zotero, but I would have mentioned Zotero in my apps video again. And the Chrome extension for Zotero is a super important part of how the app works. So say I go into this source and then up here, I can just press this one and I can choose where it will save to. I've got a random music folder from my music subject from last semester. So if I just save it into there, it'll take all the information from the article. It will take the date, it will take the author, and it says it's a web page. This is the title. It doesn't have an author, so 
I would probably put that in myself. It's got the date, it's got the URL, the date that I accessed it, all of that stuff. It also most of the time will read a PDF for you. So if you have an article that's not a website, but it's a PDF, it will do the same thing. And that is basically it. That's all I use for school. And I'm not gonna go and say that I use anything else that I don't. I only wanted to put in here extensions that I use and that I swear by. So hopefully there are one or two that you haven't heard of before that you wanna try out. And remember to let me know down below what Chrome extensions you use to make your uni life a bit easier. And also a reminder to go and check out my app for students video kind of along the same wavelength as this video so you would probably find it helpful too but for now that is all i will see you in my next video and thank you for watching bye